Hi there and welcome to Apple World. Steve Harvey, what's more, Shay Diddy comes on a superficial level, they could appear completely different. Steve is known for his mystique on television, facilitating game shows and doing out life exhortations. Diddy, in the meantime, is a definitive hip bounce head honcho, an expert of remix who's constructed a realm on music design and everything in between. Yet for reasons unknown, these two share much more for all intents and purposes than anybody thought. The murmurs of their late evening parties have been around for a really long time, and presently, with Diddy's new capture, we're beginning to learn exactly how profound their association could go. We as a whole saw it posted recently on all general virtual entertainment pages. Just Cass. He battled a claim in New York City against Diddy. She's guaranteeing she was caught in a decades-long pattern of misuse. Everything reached a crucial stage on September 16, 2024, when Diddy was captured in Manhattan on charges that included intrigue, compulsion, and transportation for illegal exercises. Keeping in mind that that news stood out as truly newsworthy, the genuine sensation was at this point to drop. As per some exceptionally set sources, Diddy has been helping out the specialists, presenting data that could possibly diminish his own sentence, and the name he purportedly dropped was none other than Steve Harvey Rehash, with incredibly serious and scurrilous charges. Uh, counting charges that, uh? Combs had cameras all through his home, so how did Steve become involved with the entirety of this? It all returns to those notorious oddities off parties. Diddy was known to toss covered in mystery and energized by the appeal of big name as, per different claims, these social affairs were not your run-of-the-mill Hollywood gatherings. Diddy supposedly had a propensity for facilitating these occasions in his houses, which as it turns out were set up with. Stowed away cameras in each room the claims asserted that Diddy would record his visitors without their insight, catching splitting the difference film that he could use as influence what's more, a ton. Of the proof claimed proof that has been accumulated in this case was from those two attacks that were directed on his own homes in Miami. What's more, Los Angeles and the arraignment names that um the thing held onto that they that he purportedly made recordings of these exhibitions as that have been named freak-offs enter Steve Harvey numerous reports proposed that Steve wasn't simply a visitor at these social occasions yet, was a standard apparatus he was supposedly known for going to Diddy's off. Occasions despite the fact that gossipy tidbits about these secret cameras in behind-the-scenes accounts had flowed for years. How could Steve continue to appear? Some estimate it was the bait of being near Hollywood's power players, while others accept he might have had his own insider facts to leave hidden one way or the other. His attendance at these gatherings raises a few serious inquiries particularly now that Diddy is purportedly spilling the beans well. One way or the other, assuming you got to run to a confidential island cause your wrongdoings are accomplishing such a great deal, and they raging house it's one of these now if the government will command. And that they are answerable for your prosperity, they need to guarantee the well-being of your prosperity as indicated by Rodney Lilbar Jones, a previous partner of Diddy who as of late recorded a claim Diddy's gatherings were everything except Common Jones claims he was constrained into organizing. Explicit experiences for the visitors large numbers of whom were high-profile superstars and the stunning part he asserts that Steve Harvey was among the people who participated in these exercises possible. Lie leaving himself defenseless against Diddy observation strategies, the suit likewise specifies that Diddy would frequently flaunt about the tapes he had put away, saying they could ruin lives assuming they at any point saw the radiance of day. And I recollect, as I couldn't say whether you knew. What his voice seems like yet, similar to feeling like I was in the presence of his beast now. Assuming that this is genuine, it would imply that Steve was purposely going to occasions where protection was a joke and cameras were rolling. However, here's where it gets significantly more out of control. Some insiders say that Steve had known about the FBI's examination concerning Diddy's exercises a long time before the portable's capture, giving him sufficient opportunity to make a getaway from plan, and incidentally, Steve could have had something beyond a fallback. He might have had more than simply a fallback. He might have as of now set it in motion. The Extraordinary Lodging Unit is a 24-hour lockdown unit which implies that any development inside that unit is controlled and composed, and the negative detainee moves beyond his cell without being in full limitations to incorporate a uh, leg irons, cuffs, a gut chain, and at least two one. The off chance that not three staff individuals accompanying them. How about we separate the bits of hearsay encompassing Steve's abrupt disappearance when Diddy was captured? 
Steve purportedly went off the radar, dropping appearances and avoiding calls. A few reports proposed that he had been planning for this for quite a long time, realizing that Diddy's place of cards was going to come crashing down, yet where did he go? As per sources near Steve, he might have escaped to a country without a removal deal, conceivably one of the Caribbean islands or even a distant area in Europe. If genuine, this would make it a lot harder for us specialists to bring him back in the event that he becomes embroiled in Diddy, the outrage hypothesis is spinning out of control that Steve was warned by somebody in Diddy's circle, cautioning him to get out while he actually could. This insider data might have come from a shared companion or even somebody inside the general set of laws permitting Steve to unobtrusively get away before things raised a ruckus around town. There are even reports that Steve may have contracted a personal luxury plane to make his escape, staying away from business flights and, according to general society, yet whether he's really gone or simply laying low still needs to be affirmed. Now you got the ditty circumstance where he hops on a personal luxury plane, they say recently and is headed to the CVI Islands. What's unmistakable anyway is that on the off chance that Steve escaped it was anything but an imprudent choice. It appears he may have been getting ready for this second for some time insiders guarantee he'd been moving resources and moving assets out of his S accounts potentially into Seward. Camps in the event this sort of financial moving proposes he knew precisely the thing was coming and he needed to be prepared to go about when Diddy's capture hit the news and I hung the telephone up, I went. T higher up, I said blemish, D said blemish. We got an issue when I made sense of it for her Marie began crying. And that is not all there's even talk that Steve's better half Marjorie may have been engaged with his escape Marjorie, has her own disputable past with reputed associations with a few obscure figures, counting past associations with men engaged with unlawful organizations. She's no outsider to outrage and some trust she may have assisted Steve with coordinating his way. There's no strong verification yet except for the thought that Marjorie might have played a job, which adds one more layer to this unfurling show, so I don't. I don't give him no energy. I give critics no energy. Steve, ain't this he this? You don't indeed even know me. So for what reason is this happening now? How could Steve feel the need to escape when he hasn't even been officially charged? The response might lie in the degree of Dee's participation with the FBI in the event that Diddy has, as a matter of fact, named Steve as an associate. That could mean Steve is confronting a few serious lawful difficulties of his own, and with the sorts of charges Diddy is facing, it's not hard to envision that specialists would pursue anybody connected to his supposed exercises. There are a few issues that the safeguard has raised initially in any case. It seems like just from understanding this 14-page arraignment that there is sufficient actual proof to maybe get a conviction for this situation. We will see these are charges. The timing couldn't be more terrible for Steve similarly, as he was attempting to solidify his heritage as a medium ogle and family man. This outrage can possibly tear everything apart, and with Diddy apparently prepared to bring down anybody he can to save himself, Steve could in all likelihood be the following domino to fall all things considered on the off chance that Diddy truly has tapes. It wouldn't simply be Steve's notoriety on the line it very well, maybe his whole profession however we should not fail to remember that Steve has figured out how to endure embarrassments before this is a man who has confronted tricking bits of hearsay family show and public kickback just to return. Without fail anyway, this present circumstance is unique. If the bits of gossip are valid, He's not simply managing an individual embarrassment, however possibly confronting legitimate activity that could change his life always, and if Diddy will participate with specialists. Steve probably won't have the option to work right out of this one. That is, of course, there's layers upon layers when you get into these paranoid ideas. Man, they continue forever, they go on and on forever. They're simply layers upon. Layers upon layers, each of this leads us to the enormous question, will Steve Harvey be the following to have to deal with penalties? Or will he figure out how to remain one stride in front of the law time? He FBI is apparently growing its examination investigating not just did supposed activities yet in addition, the individuals who might have gone to his famous social events and assuming they find any proof connecting Steve to those parties or the secret cameras he could be in hot water. There's now talk that the federal authorities are investigating tapes also, other proof assembled from Dee's homes wanting to sort out who was involved and how much assuming that Steve's name appears on any of that. 
T recording it could be down over for himself and given the number of famous people who are said to host went to these gatherings, he's far from the one in particular who ought to be concerned until further notice however Steve's whereabouts stay a secret, some say he's no more underground hanging. Out in an extravagant estate some place a long way from inquisitive eyes, others accept, he's still in the nation just gnawing his time until the residue settles anything that reality. Subscribe Apple World for more videos.